this incredibly different worldview than the standard Newtonian picture of the world. E equals mc squared is the secret of the stars. It's the cosmic engine that drives the entire universe. Mental knowledge of the formation and evolution of the universe would be practically zero were it not for the existence and understanding of that equation. Albert Einstein's innovative thinking changed the way we view the universe. His theory of relativity laid the groundwork for modern physics and greatly influenced the history of the 20th century. But let's go back to the beginning of the 20th century. There is nothing new to be discovered in physics now. All that remains is more and more precise measurement. A young patent clerk in Berlin questioned Lord Kelvin's claims by publishing four papers in hopes of gaining a doctoral degree or an academic job. He claimed his fourth paper to be only a rough draft, yet it was the one that would change the world. Special relativity essentially says that space and time are not absolutes. That two observers might look at the same set of events and see something that the same thing travel different distances and take different times to do it um, if those two observers are moving relative to each other. The thing that they will always agree on, though, is the speed of light. In his paper, Einstein claimed the relationship between matter and the physical universe is relative. Size is relative. Speed is relative. Even time is relative. Traveling at some substantial fraction of the speed of light, turned around and came right back. Then, although as I was undergoing my spaceship flight, I would, my clock would move at a perfectly ordinary pace, I would eat three times a day and sleep eight hours. At the end of the time, I would come back and although I had taken maybe 10, 20 years of my, in my very fast spaceship flight, on Earth, maybe a thousand or more years would have passed. However, one thing is never relative. Suppose you will be able to ride a skateboard and ride that skateboard at near the speed of light, say 99% speed of light, 99.9% .9 speed of light, and you have with you a flashlight. And now you switch on that flashlight and the light is faster than you because it travels at the speed of light and you are only about at the speed of light. So the question then is, at what velocity does that light actually leave you, run ahead of you? And the answer is, well, the statement is, the speed of light is a constant. What that means is, it leaves you at the speed of light no matter at what velocity you are traveling. If you are at 99.9% .9 of speed of light, the light is still going away from you at the speed of light. One way in which Einstein's theory of special relativity um, had what one might call certainly a momentous impact on, the, um, on history in the 20th century was his deduction from his theory of special relativity that mass was deep down only another form of energy. It follows from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are both are both different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average mind. Furthermore, the equation E is equal mc square, in which energy is put equal to mass multiplied with the square of the velocity of light, showed that very small amount of mass may be converted into a very large amount of energy, and vice versa.
Much to his dismay, Einstein's theory of special relativity was the kernel of knowledge scientists needed to create the atomic bomb. The bomb was dropped August 6, 1945 on the city of Hiroshima and again three days later on Nagasaki. This changed the course of the 20th century by putting an end to World War II and beginning the Cold War. The theory of special relativity not only changed the way we fight wars, it also changed the way we light our homes, run our factories, and power our cities. While only eight countries are known to have nuclear weapon capabilities, 30 countries have some 440 commercial nuclear power reactors. Today, the world produces as much electricity from nuclear energy as it did from all sources combined in 1960. The USA is the world's largest producer of nuclear power, having 104 nuclear power reactors in 31 states. Today, nuclear power plants produce about 15% of the world's electricity. France relies on nuclear energy more than any other country, having 76% of its electricity supplied by this source. None of this could be possible without the revolutionary idea that a small amount of mass may be converted into a tremendous amount of energy. Einstein unified his theory of special relativity with gravity to create general relativity. Before general relativity, physicists believed gravity existed absolutely and independently from space and time, which were unaffected by the presence of massive bodies such as Earth. Gravity was a force acting between masses, implying instantaneous attraction at a distance. However, according to Einstein's theory, space and time are interwoven into a single fabric called space-time. Massive bodies such as Earth bend their space-time like a rubber mat. In Einstein's universe, gravity is smaller bodies rolling into the larger bodies bent rubber mat, known as space-time curvature. The theory of general relativity created enormous differences in the way we map the universe. When one star sits directly behind another, it shouldn't be visible from Earth. Einstein's theory explains that light from the first star bends around the second star, making them appear side by side. The Eddington Eclipse supported general relativity by showing the bending of light. The black circles shown here display the accurate locations of six stars. The yellow circle show the location of the same six stars during this revolutionary eclipse. By understanding space-time curvature, we now have a more accurate view of the universe. A view that impacts our lives every day. One area where it does make a difference is uh, GPS signals. In order to achieve the, the high accuracy of, of global positioning system um, satellites, they apply a correction for uh, relativity. Millions of people use GPS to navigate their cars. Military forces use GPS to guide missiles and bombs. Today's search and rescue missions are far more successful with the innovation of global positioning. And of course, to safely travel through space, corrections for relativity must be made. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Finally, general relativity completely changed the discussion of the origin and fate of the universe. Newtonian physics believed in a static universe. Relativity showed that the universe is constantly expanding and that galaxies must have been packed closely together in the past. This laid the groundwork for the Big Bang Theory and the discovery of black holes. After a long journey with Einstein across the Atlantic, Chaim Weizmann, the first president of Israel, said, Einstein explained his theory to me every day, and soon I was fully convinced that he understood it. Despite the complexity of Einstein's innovative thinking, the theory of relativity changed the way we view the universe. It laid the groundwork for modern physics, greatly influenced the history of the 20th century, and changed what we believed was possible. Einstein's main goal throughout much of his life was to unify concepts in physics that at first sight seemed completely separate, but through his genius he realized that there are actually different facets of the same thing.